We forget our pleasures, we remember our sufferings. Freedom is a possession of inestimable value. Even if you have nothing to write, write and say so. Death is not natural for a state as it is for a human being, for whom death is not only necessary, but frequently even desirable. The study and knowledge of the universe would somehow be lame and defective or no practical results to follow. Justice is the set and constant purpose which gives every man his due. Next to God we are nothing. To God we are everything. For how many things, which for our own sake we should never do, do we perform for the sake of our friends? A room without books is like a body without the soul. If you have a garden and a library, you have everything you need. Gratitude is not only the greatest of virtues, but the parent of all the others. The life of the dead is placed in the memory of the living. Glory follows virtue as if it were its shadow. Any man can make mistakes, but only an idiot persists in his error. The higher we are placed, the more humbly we should walk. Silence is one of the great arts of conversation. Nothing is more noble, nothing more venerable than fidelity. Faithfulness and truth are the most sacred excellences and endowments of the human mind. The enemy is within the gates it is with our own luxury, our own folly, our own criminality that we have to contend. The greatest pleasures are only narrowly separated from disgust. The wise are instructed by reason, average minds by experience, the stupid by necessity and the brute by instinct. I prefer tongue-tied knowledge to ignorant loquacity. Brevity is a great charm of eloquence. Any man is liable to err, only a fool persists in error.
there is nothing so absurd that some philosopher has not already said it. Justice consists in doing no injury to man decency and giving them no offense. It is the peculiar quality of a fool to perceive the faults of others and to forget his own. It is not by muscle, speed, or physical dexterity that great things are achieved, but by reflection, force of character, and judgment. Nothing is so unbelievable that oratory cannot make it acceptable. Nobody can give you wiser advice than yourself. The countenance is the portrait of the soul, and the eyes mark its intentions. Cultivation to the mind is as necessary as food to the body. The function of wisdom is to discriminate between good and evil. Our character is not so much the product of race and heredity as of those circumstances by which nature forms our habits, by which we are nurtured and live. What is thine is mine, and all mine is thine. It is foolish to tear one's hair in grief, as though sorrow would be made less by baldness. Nothing is more unreliable than the populace, nothing more obscure than human intentions, nothing more deceptive than the whole electoral system.